Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be running you through my top five tips for studying biology. So my first tip is to make sure you stay up to date. So biology is a great subject, but it does have a lot of content. So that means if you start to fall behind, it can be quite overwhelming. So just make sure you're using your class time effectively and you're writing regular notes. And that will mean that it really minimizes your stress as you approach an assessment or an exam because you know you already have those notes there and you don't have to write them out. My second suggestion is to work with other people and help other people. So that might mean that you teach your concepts to your friends or they teach you some concepts, but you'll find that not only does um, teaching you know, help another person, but it also means that it helps to reiterate that learning to yourself and check your understanding of the content. So I think a lot of people will start to see QC is a bit of a competition, but really everyone will do better if um, everyone helps each other. So that's a really good suggestion as well. Another tip is to make mind maps. Now this is a suggestion because a lot of biology um, is interrelated. And so because there's a lot of content, if you're able to connect the different concepts together, it makes it much easier to remember those different concepts and areas. So mind maps is a really great visual tool um, for helping you to achieve that. So tip number four is to do practice questions or even write practice questions. So not only do you have to make sure that you're remembering all the content, you need to make sure that you also know how to apply that content to the questions that you're going to be asked on assessments. So this way, doing lots of practice questions is a really good way to make sure that you can do that. And writing practice questions means that you're also getting a revision component. So that's a really good idea. Um, you and a group of friends could get together, each write some practice questions, and you've got yourself a mini test um, that way as well. My final suggestion is to make sure that you're seeking out lots of different resources. So for example, your textbook might explain something in a way that doesn't make sense to you or doesn't suit how you like to learn, but make sure you're looking for other resources. So obviously you found these videos, so that's great, but you know, there's a lot of information out on the internet. You can use YouTube, um, you can use different types of textbooks. Just make sure you're looking for information that really helps you to understand what you're learning about and don't just sort of assume that your textbook is the only way you can get information as well. Great, so they're my top five tips. I hope you find them useful across the year.